Hello everyone, my name is Adam Maria Pilsvox and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to recover files you may have deleted from your recycling bin just entirely using a free trial and there, it, it, I will disclaim that this is paid software of a tool called Minitool Power Data Recovery. Now, I haven't actually installed it yet because there's something important to note when you go to install this. And they do provide a free trial so you can make sure it can recover what you want and then choose to decide to buy it later. But if you have, uh, wherever your files that you deleted were originally on, you cannot install this software to that drive. So for example, by if you only have one hard drive, if you have a C drive, you don't want to install the software to that drive because if I pull it up here, It'll actually tell you that you shouldn't install it to whatever drive your data is from. Caution! Never install the software on the drive that contains lost data. This may cause disk overwrite and prevent data and permanent data loss. Because if you just deleted the file by installing the software on that hard drive, it could be overwriting whatever you might have, you know, just deleted that you're trying to recover. So if you have a flash drive or another hard drive or another partition on your hard drive, for something like this, a flash drive will work. Um, but I'm actually going to install it to a separate hard drive here. But again, a flash drive will work fine. You just you, you want to avoid installing it basically in the exact same place that your data was from. And then finish the installation. Once the installation is complete, simply click Launch Power or Mini Tool Power Data Recovery. Now this actually pops up a internet window here. I had it on another monitor that basically just shows you the three steps required. Select the recovery module, target which files you want, scan, preview the data, and save it out. And that's really all it takes. So we have a Windows Metro looking UI here. And basically we just want undelete recovery. But first we have to actually delete the files because I haven't done that yet because I wanted it to be as clean as possible for a sample of this video. So for example, I'm going to delete this CPU-Z installer. And, and this way I remember exactly what I deleted. I'm going to delete this, I want something smaller. 10 second video file here. Uh, 2016 to 28. I'll remember that. And this 20 second video here. Delete all of those. Undelete recovery. Now again, the longer you go between accidentally deleting the file and trying to recover it, the less likely you are to be able to recover it simply because the file, you know, may not be there or may have been overwritten. And that is something I did not think about when I deleted my files. Those video files would have been on my iDrive. So I'm going to choose this and scan. So, so yeah, let me go back to the devices list. So this is the list of hard drives in your computer. Most of you will just have one or two. I have a bunch, but most of you have one or two. Wherever that file originally was, you need to select that drive. So for, so for those of you who only have one, just select the one. If you have two, then figure out which you know where your source file was. You should know that based on where the file existed. I'm going to choose this drive because that's where one of those video files were at the very least. And then we have some options here. There's a Photoshop temp file. There is a lost files folder. And there is a recycling bin folder. And inside that recycling bin folder appears to be that video file, that other video file, and then a couple others. So let's see if we can preview this. Okay, it's bigger than 20 megabytes, so let's preview this one. Alright, it's not going to give me much because it's only pulling up the hex files. For text documents, uh, for I should have deleted that. Actually, I can do that. We'll check out a text document in a minute. It's not going to pull up. Since it's a video file, I can't preview the video file. But I will recover these two real quick, and then we will re do the same thing for a text file, and I'll show you what that looks like. So I checked th both of those, and then click Save. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell it where to save them out to. I'm just going to choose my desktop so I can find them immediately and click OK. It has saved the files to the desktop. And then here you can see they're in this folder here, S Recycle Bin. Open that up, open up that folder, and boom. We have two files, and they both appear to be in the exact same shape that they were when we left them. We have a webcam test I was doing, and then we have another webcam test that I was doing. And they both appear to play just fine. And they read the metadata. The only thing that isn't there is their original titles. 
because the titles are thrown away whenever the files are deleted, but still reads 1920 by 1080, 30 frames a second. 36.6 megabytes, 10 seconds, exactly how we left it. So we're gonna do one more test here. I'm gonna get rid of this folder. We're gonna go to the recycling bin. I believe there was a text file in here, cpus.txt. Eh, yeah, well, is that the best choice? These are logs from a latency monitor thing I was testing. That should be fine. So we'll delete cpus.txt, just delete it permanently. Yes, and that was on my G drive. And so we'll go back to the devices list, yes. We'll go to G, scan, desktop, that's just the URL, so we'll go back, uh, S Recycle Bin, open up S Recycle Bin, there is a lot of files that I have deleted, we're looking for a TXT file, this will take a little bit of digging around to find the file that you want if you go through quite as many files as I do, fortunately I go through a lot of data on a regular basis, this makes it a bit more complicated for me to show, but also a good, like, worst case scenario, is I have all of these files. There's an episode of Community I deleted forever ago. Is that possibly recoverable? Let's check it out. Save it out. Oh. This had, had to have been deleted. Ah. Okay. And here we reach the free space limit, and that is what I also wanted to address. Sometimes people get mad in the comment section if I don't mention in the video that software is paid. And that's generally because at the time of making the video, the software is not paid software. This is a case where it is paid software, I said that at the start, and here is where we get our limit. The biggest file you can get for the free edition is one gigabyte. For bigger than one gigabyte files, you do need the paid software. I'm not going to do that for right now. But if you do want to check on the paid version, link to that will of course be in the description below. Now some options I recommend for sorting this is creation date and modification date, just like in Windows Explorer. You can sort and see what was the newest file. This appears to be the newest file. So I will actually preview this file. Gives you the hex image. That's not useful. Text. All it has is a square, so that doesn't tell us for certain that's what it is. And that was actually, well, it was created and modified a, a week ago. So let's see if that's it. I'm going to save it out again back to my desktop. Okay. Here's the file in that recycle bin folder. I'll go ahead and open it up. See if that is the file. It just has a few symbols, that's probably not it. All right, I've actually just checked on the files in my recycling bin. And for example, the other TXT files that relate to the one, the ones that I was looking for, such as, I may have just deleted the, oh, stats. That was created on 2-12-2016, which is the same time as that one file that I had found. And there's another one here now. So I'm going to export both of these out to the desktop. And what maybe happened is that text isn't as easy to recover and that's just something you may have to deal with whereas a video file is something bigger that has to stay together without losing information for example both of these appear to just be filled with gibberish however I don't 100% know what the originals looked like so let me pull out stats and we'll see what that looked like yeah see this was at least legible but it's possible that like formatting and encoding got screwed up within the recovery, and so that's just a fact of life. Like, no, <laughs> file recovery is never perfect, and so it is simply just trying your luck. We recovered the video files just fine. We were unable to recover the text files. So let's try one more. There was the, oh yeah, there was the cpuz.exe file. Actually, I did not pay close enough attention to that exe, so I'm gonna try another one. All right, this one, 2.5.2016 was the modified and creation date, filezilla.exe. We're going to delete it permanently, then we're going to go back to devices list, and again, that originally would have been in my downloads folder, which is on my G drive, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to go to recycle bin, and look for 2016. We got those text files. We do not appear to have the exe. That is interesting. Exe files aren't something you're going to want to regularly try to recover, though, but that's interesting that it's not here. So you can filter here by file type, file size, creation date, or modification date. You can search for files, you can preview some aspects of the files, and you basically whatever's here is all you're really going to get. And then you can export scan results to an RSS file, which isn't, which would be openable in an RSS reader. So you have then links to the home menu if you want to close all of this. You can also, with this tool, try to recover CDs or DVDs. 
digital media such as um, flash drives or memory sticks, you can try to recover damaged or lost partitions. That's a lot more tedious and a lot less likely to be successful. And then if we go back into the undelete recover here, I didn't mean to actually leave it yet. Well, here, yeah, right here. You also have the option to create bootable media for this, which is what you might want if your, I just realized my internet went out, if your computer, if your C drive is the drive that you're trying to recover files from, you want to create bootable media, which is going to load, load their web page, which isn't going to work because my internet's not working, but you can create a downloadable d file, which you can then make a flash drive or a CD or DVD boot from to boot your computer from the software, bypass Windows entirely, and try to recover your files that way. And again, just in case you didn't know, just, just in case, if you do delete a file, but, you know, from, like, your desktop, like right here, if I delete these three files here, unless you emptied your recycling bin, they're still going to be in your recycling bin. And someone may be like, oh, that's dumb, of course I knew that, but just to make sure people know, those are the files there that I just deleted. So you don't need any software to recover if you just deleted it to the recycling bin. I do hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my awesome videos in the channel and things like that. And links to this software will be in the description below. My name has been Adam Vox. I'll catch you in the next one.